Hi, welcome to our YouTube channel. On December 15, a Russian Soyuz spacecraft that was docked at the International Space Station experienced a coolant leak. This occurred just before a spacewalk was scheduled to take place with two Russian cosmonauts. The crew on the ISS is safe, but the Soyuz spacecraft was set to be used for the return of two cosmonauts and one NASA astronaut to Earth in the near future. In light of this incident, NASA and Russia's space agency, Roscosmos, are considering options for how to proceed. One possibility being considered is using a SpaceX Crew Dragon mission to rescue the stranded astronauts. NASA has reportedly contacted SpaceX to ask about their ability to return additional crew members on the Dragon, but this is not currently the main focus. SpaceX did not respond to requests for comment. It is currently uncertain what a SpaceX mission to rescue the stranded astronauts would involve. One possibility is that additional seats could be added to the Endeavour, a Crew Dragon spacecraft that is already docked at the ISS when it is scheduled to return to Earth next year. However, this mission is already fully booked with four people, NASA astronauts Nicole Mann and Josh Kasada, Japanese astronaut Koichi Wakata, and Russian cosmonaut Anna Kikina. Another option would be for NASA to prioritize a new SpaceX Crew Dragon launch to the ISS specifically to pick up the three crew members who were originally planning to return on the Soyuz spacecraft, NASA astronaut Frank Rubio and Russian cosmonauts Sergei Prokopiev and Dmitry Pietlin. The cause of the Soyuz leak is currently unknown, with an investigation finding a hole in the radiator's exterior that may have been caused by a micrometeoroid or piece of orbital debris, or possibly by a hardware failure. The Soyuz capsule is experiencing high temperatures due to the loss of coolant, but NASA has stated that the temperatures remain within acceptable limits and the capsule is being cooled with vented air flow from an open hatch to the rest of the ISS. However, it seems unlikely that the capsule could be used to transport humans back to Earth at this time. Thank you for watching.